Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another meal prep video. So today's video is going to be three easy meals. And the last time that I did this video, you guys commented, gave me some great feedback and said you really enjoyed this style video because it's not as overwhelming as whenever I do a whole day of meal prepping or a lot of recipes. It's just easy, simple stuff. And all three of these are oven meals to where you take them out of the freezer and you put them right into the oven and you've got dinner made, you've got the protein and veggies and everything right in that meal inside the pan and it makes it extremely simple, especially for busy days. Before we dive in and get cooking, I did clean up my kitchen. I tell you what, that's the key to meal prepping is making sure that you start with a clean kitchen so that if you're too exhausted to do all the dishes when you're done, at least you're not having dishes on top of dishes on top of dishes and it's just not as overwhelming. Or maybe you will get it all cleaned up whenever you're finished and you can end with a clean kitchen as well. So I cleaned everything up except I didn't do the floors because today's video is sponsored by Eureka and they have have a really cool robot vacuum cleaner that does a great job especially whenever you've got enough other things to be juggling and it can clean the floors for you so I actually have it right here and I'm going to set it on the counter here and open it up and show you guys what's inside these guys are so helpful especially if you have a busy life and you just don't have time to vacuum all the time and if you have pets and kids those things <laughs> definitely take a lot more vacuuming than if you don't have them. After using this vacuum cleaner for a while, I have been really impressed with it and would highly recommend it. It's perfect for day-to-day -day cleaning and it has about 2,000 PA of suction power and a high efficiency filter to help tackle dust, dirt, and pet hair. It also works great on both hardwood floors and low pile carpets. There are four ways to control this vacuum cleaner. You can use the Eureka app and schedule the cleaning and also control where it goes and how it cleans. Or you can use Alexa and Google Assistant for voice control. But if you prefer it to be offline, you can also use the remote with it and manually control it. It has three cleaning modes. You can do auto mode for the whole home to be clean. You can do edge mode for corners and under kitchen counters which is my personal favorite or you can do spot mode for entryways or like around litter boxes and that kind of thing it has an anti-scratch brush roll and it's specially designed to protect your hardwood floors yet also clean carpet using a combination of specially angled soft bristle brushes and flexible rubber blades and honestly I would say that the brush roll on this thing is pretty impressive it does a good job at getting everything picked up check out the link in the description box to find out more information on this groove vacuum cleaner from Eureka all right so today I'm doing things a little differently than I normally do just because I'm going to try to accomplish all of this in less than an hour so we will see if we can get all three of them done in less than an hour so the three that we are doing is some zucchini lasagna which obviously would be low carb gluten free keto friendly and then we're doing a bacon ranch broccoli chicken casserole and then we are also doing some sweet potato enchiladas and I ran across this idea. I think it's totally genius. It's basically like stuffing sweet potatoes with an enchilada idea. I'm going to be adding chicken to this. The original recipe did not have chicken in it, but I'm adding it in to kind of make it a little bit more of a full rounded meal for us. So I've got um, some corn for the enchiladas. I've got some ricotta cheese and mozzarella cheese and some other things for the lasagna. I've got a pound of burger out for the lasagna. It's thawed out. Half of this will go for the enchiladas and then the other half will go for the bacon broccoli dish. I've got the broccoli for that and then I found these. I feel like they are the absolute perfect size to do zucchini lasagna. If you've never heard of that before, it's basically like replacing the noodles with thin slices of zucchini and it's a good way to get more vegetables in. I've got cheese and some other things for the enchilada idea. So let's get putting a lot of this together. I'm going to lay these out so that I'm just filling them all at one time. I'll have all three of them laid out. We're gonna do this really quickly and um, 
kind of make the most of all of our time. So I think the first thing I need to do is get the ground meat cooking because out of the three dishes, this is the only one that will have cooked meat going into the freezer. The second thing I need to do is get these baking either in the oven or I'll throw them in the air fryer because I think I have to pre-bake them. I think they're similar to the idea of doing twice baked potatoes. All right, I was wrong. I didn't realize I would need half of this cooked because I need it to be shredded up for in the sweet potato enchilada. So I'm actually gonna throw this into my pressure cooker. It will cook up super fast. While that is going on, I'm going to put the bacon in the frying pan as soon as that beef is done. And then I'm gonna take the other half of this and dice it up and layer up the bacon, potato, uh, broccoli, chicken dish. <laughs> ended up making two pans. I didn't realize it was for two pans, which is fine because um, one of my best friends, her kids are here for the day playing right now and I'm going to send one of these home for her to have a quick dinner and I'm kind of surprise her with that. So now I'm gonna put together the zucchini lasagna and I have read a couple recipes on how to do this so I'm kind of just doing it on my own with my own ideas from multiple recipes. I will leave a recipe below that I found that looks really great though and I've been kind of going off of that one.
Okay guys, this is one intense hour. I feel like I'm running a marathon and just making a big pile of dishes, but it'll totally be worth it. So I just pulled out my sweet potatoes and I'm gonna scoop them, I'm gonna cut them in half and scoop them out and mix together a few more ingredients that I will show you. All right, it's getting darker outside because it's getting ready to rain, so that's why the colors look all crazy right now. Um, but these look amazing. So when we go to eat these, I will heat them pro probably at 350 for maybe 45 minutes or so, maybe about an hour, till they're heated the whole way through. And then we will eat them like, you know, individually on our plate and add some sour cream, some shredded cheese, and some chopped up avocado. They'll be great little pockets. I saw this idea and just thought it was the neatest thing, something so different. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put my heavy duty tin foil on top of here. Okay guys, I am so happy with these. I'm so happy with everything that I got done. Even got a little bonus meal to bless a friend with, which is always fun to do. And um, I like having a good variety of things that I can put in the oven, things I can put in the pressure cooker, the slow cooker, the air fryer, those sorts of things. So these are definitely oven meals. And I would say that these are probably more of my husband's favorite style meal is oven meals or skillet meals. That's another one. Um, so I think I might start doing this where I do meal preps that are specifically a certain type of freezer meal like skillet meals or like what everything I just mentioned. So let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in having my freezer prep stuff kind of categorized that way. Let me know what you think about that. Don't forget to check out the link below to get yourself one of those vacuum cleaners. They are such a huge help. I love having them around. If you're new here, I'd love it if you subscribed and joined my channel. I also have a vlog channel and a cleaning motivation slash home decoration channel that I will leave linked below. And don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know which of these three recipes looked the best to you. Give this video a like and I will see you guys in my next video.